Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Lydia with Raindrop Lila and today I want to share with you my latest digital collection. This is the Rosie Vintage Collection and I have six different um, kits in this collection. It just kind of grew and so I had to split it up into different kits. You can see how many pages it has. This actually is a 32 uh, page kit but some of the pages are a little bit similar so that's good to kind of keep in mind and so um, I love to make kind of a bigger collection like this that coordinates well together because if I am going to make multiple journals I like to have each journal be just a little bit different but then I want to be able to um, make them kind of like as part of a collection so a lot of times I'll keep creating and then this kit will turn into something really big and another thing to keep in mind is that um, this kit will go really well with my strawberry digitals my strawberry collection and also with I also have some vintage Valentine's Day collections and so I have quite a few um, digital kits with reds in them so if you already pick those up they'll kind of work really well together and you'll have kind of like a unique look by mixing up the different kits so I like to do that also so I'm gonna just show these to you I just love this little girl I think it's so cute and she's got the little red cape on and I love this picture. It's so cute. Um, when I was little, my grandma used to tell us a story with Little Red Riding Hood, and she used to have me reenact it. So I was Little Red Riding Hood, and my sister was Snow White. So anyways, so anything red, like red coat or capes, are just so cute to me. They're very nostalgic, and I just love this image. And so, of course, I wanted to make it a big... Um, full-size sheet so that when you have it it's just like how cute is that that could be a great co uh, cover for a journal too so anyways I'm gonna start and I'll just kind of go through them I love this red rose I think it's so pretty and then um, I also have greens in here because it kind of plays off of the rose so these are some collaged digitals Okay, so this is the rose, and I absolutely love this image. I actually did quite a bit of editing on here because um, it wasn't this clean. I kind of cleaned it up, and even the coloring, I kind of um, worked on the colors too. This is kind of a softer look to the rose, but I think it's so beautiful. I mean, it's still really sharp. I actually did some sharpening on here. I actually... Um, I do a lot of photo editing. I used to be a photographer, so I've done a lot of photo editing, and so if something's a little bit soft, I will um, sharpen it. But um, it's still a little bit, obviously with the vintage print, I was gonna make sure I mentioned that. With the vintage print, you are gonna have some, like a bit of softness to um, the pages and I wanted to make sure I mentioned that but I think it's so pretty I love that I mean I think it's just um, part of, of working with some vintage images and then of course I printed on the back of some of these because I'm getting ready to use these in a journal and so I think this actually goes I think I have them upside down no I don't just a few okay and so there's this one too I just love all the different patterns and textures. I'm like, how pretty is that? And see, I use some of the pages and collage them together so you can have kind of like a variation. Here's another really vintage print. I think that's so pretty. And see how basically it's the same idea, but I just kept adding layers. And I like to give a lot of options with my um, with my kits so that you know you can pick whether you want this one or this one. And this one is great because you can. Uh, you can really go in there and 
Let me see. You can go in here and journal if you want, or you can even use that. Or you can even use that just as a mat. You know, it gives you a little bit of extra dimension. So I like to do this a lot. It's almost like a ready done page and you just go in and add to it. So, um, and I love that texture. I think it's so pretty. Let's see if you can see it. There we go. How cute are these little girls? I love this image. Oops. Okay, how cute is this? I love that. Okay, and then I have a stripe. And I was also going to mention, this is not a Christmas kit. It just happened to, um, I just picked the colors from the, the some of my inspiration pieces that I started with. And so like this one, it's like the red and the green. So there's a lot of red and green, so that's kind of what I went with. And so I have the stripe, but, and I think this is really pretty, it has like that vintage feel. But you can keep in mind that these will work really well for Christmas also. You can mix and match these with like a Christmas digital. And then some more papers. I love these. This is more of a blank. It's kind of cream, so let's see. Let me show you. So it's not quite white. It's got, it's like a, a creamy color. I always love to include one of these with my kits so that you can either print on the back of a paper if you want a blank piece or if you're not coffee dyeing papers and you want something kind of neutral that will work well. Or you can even use it like um, like tear some pieces off and journal on here. Use it for journaling. Or I also love to use this on on the back of my tags, so that I have um, if I don't have coffee dye paper, I can just print this out and I'm ready to go. I can just work on it. I don't have to wait and um, make coffee dye paper. Okay, so now I wanted to mention something else. Um, so for my kits, I usually print on just plain copy paper. And now I have an Epson um, Eco Tank, so the reds are not really vibrant, which I like this. I think this is really pretty. I think that works really well. But I also, if I want a more vibrant color, I pick this up. So you'll want to, if you have an Epson printer, you're going to want to buy the higher quality paper. So I wanted to show you the difference. That's like a huge difference. Now, I still like this. This is a really vintage look and it works really well with it. But if I, if I don't like the way it prints, I can go to this paper and it'll print a little bit. Um, it'll just be more, more vibrant. And I also have, um, let's see, I wanted to show you guys. Maybe I'll show you with, I have the photo. So when you print photos, you're gonna wanna go with um, either this paper or with like a matte, um, like a matte photo paper or even glossy, but I like matte better. So just keep that in mind. If you buy any Polaroids from my shop, I always test print on regular paper to make sure that they still look good um, on regular paper. So that's just kind of a side note. Okay, and here's another. Let's see if you can see this one. This one's like... Do you see that? It's got the... Um, it's got the embossing effect. Obviously, this paper is not embossed, but you can see it on there. Just barely. And so I think this is really pretty also just as a page but it will also be really pretty like to back something up like back up like the envelopes with it or something like that so that's what um i liked i really wanted to include this in there i think it's so pretty okay let's move on and then i have just a plain 
um, letter and again this one's pretty soft I don't know if you can see that it's not like super sharp because I liked the way it looked like this so I didn't go in and darken it because I know how to do that I know how to make it sharper or darker but I like this one like this so just just keep that in mind and then this is like a collage I think that's so pretty. Just makes it easy to start with something like this and then just go with it, add, you know, more pieces to it. And then this is another collage. I really had fun with making these collages. It's almost like um, I'm scrapbooking in a way, um, but it's, you know, digital. So it was kind of fun to work on these. This is so pretty. And this, I was also going to uh, mention that a lot of these pages will look really pretty on textured paper. I just ran out of my linen paper, but I had printed some of these on linen paper that um, for a different journal, and I think it's so pretty. And then this one, this one I actually printed on cardstock, and I love it. I think it's so beautiful. And so this is the collection of papers. And if you guys uh, watch till the end, I'm going to show you guys a sneak peek of my, um, of the digital I'm working on right now. I'm so excited about that, but it's, it's so hard because in my free time, I'll work on my digitals because I can kind of multitask. I can have coffee and then just work on my digitals. And so I already started a new digital, like I started a while back, but anyways, but I'm, I still want to work with these guys and also um, make a journal with them. So, um, but I'll show you guys at the end what I'm working on. Um, okay, so now, um, let's see. So there are like six different kits for this um, collection. I mean, it's huge. It's just kind of kept growing and growing. I actually started working on this collection in January, I think. I've been collecting pieces and kind of putting things together. Okay, so for this one, this is, so there's the paper kit right here, which was 32 pages. And now I have Rosie's ephemera and I have two different ephemera kits. One is with the tags and the pockets and that's 18 pieces right here. So I'm gonna go through and show you guys I actually got some requests for bigger tags, so I made a bunch of huge tags. Look at these. I think they're so pretty. And I made so many. These might work really cute as a little tag journal. That I think that would be great. And then I also have the um, bottom part. I included some labels. Okay, so at the bottom I have labels, and some of them I just added the little pattern or like the image so that they can, you can just use them to collage or you can just attach them to the tag. I don't know if that makes sense. I think they're gonna be so much fun to work with. I should probably just do a craft with me while I use these. So you guys see how I use them, but um, I am really excited about these. They're so pretty. And look at this one, I love these flowers. They're so pretty. And then I always use these tags. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I love them so much. And even this one too, you could put a little brad on the side there. I love using these labels. I love to add them to my tags or on a paper. They're just so perfect. Um, they're just so great to use for journaling. Um, you can even add interest like for collaging. And so I always try to add some labels. And of course, if you need more labels or more different style labels like this, I have just labels in my Etsy shop, just an FYI. Okay, so then I have, okay, so I was gonna show you guys, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. There are seven of these with the large, uh, tags and that's like that's some of these are a little bit similar right here but I think that these are so versatile 
these just work for like anything so um, I just added a couple extras um, so anyways so these are all so there's seven of these seven times three that's 21 tags that would be perfect for a journal for like a little tag journal that would be great maybe that's what I should do okay so seven of the large tags and then I have three sheets or printables of the medium sized tags and I love these two I think they're great and you can what I what I often do is use one of these labels like right on there. So I have one, two, three printables with the medium sized tags. How pretty are they? I love them. Okay, so then I have these here and these are little pockets for these medium sized tags. So see how they, they will fit in. And so what I do is just cut them out and then the little tabs is um, where you just glue it down. And so aren't they cute? I think they are so cute. Okay, so for these ones, I felt like I need to explain because they're a little bit weird. Like you can't turn them over, right? So what I'm thinking, what I wanted to explain is that you cut each one out, right? And so this is the backing, and then you, you glue this on top, or even just like this. And so then you can tuck in one of the tags in here, and then you have this as a back. I don't know if that makes sense. Okay, I'm just going to show you guys, make sure that this makes sense. Okay, so first I'm just going to cut one of these out. Okay, so I cut this out and then what I'm going to do is cut this part off. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my little mini journal and let's see. Okay, let's say... I'm going to fold this over. Okay, so then what I would do is, so basically this is the whole idea. So you have like a little library pocket and then let's see which one do I want to use. Let's just do this one. Okay, so it's basically just like a little pocket and you can just tuck something inside. Okay, and so here's my tag and now that's my tag goes in there, right? So that's basically it. Now if you want, if you have like a larger page, let's see, let's say this was, no, let's try another sheet. Let's say this was your page and maybe you want this to be longer. You can actually glue it down and make it longer, as long as you want, you know? You can go like this, hold on a second. You can go like this, and so, you can just tuck that in right there. But I kinda like it like that. I think that's cute. So either way, you can um, figure out, you can glue it on here, just on top, or you can figure out the height you want. I think this looks really good, this height right there. See that? That looks really good. So I kinda just wanted to give you guys more options. Okay, so that's for these. So 
So that's kind of the idea with these guys, okay? So there's two printables like this, and so there's a total of six of these guys, but then I have more pockets. Okay, so now these pockets I have, let's see. I have four of these. And now look how many, I have two big ones and then these are smaller. And so I have a bunch of different prints. How cute are these? I love them. They're so cute and I can show you. I've been working on my junk journal July and actually um, I just was thinking, um, I was doing the prompt reinvent and I just looked over and I thought this looks like a sailboat. So I made a little sailboat. I actually have a tutorial, a craft with me if anybody wants to watch it. So that's what I did with these two pieces. So you can, as you can see, you can turn these into anything, but the whole idea for these ones is, um, let's see, they're just meant to be pockets. So now, um, technically speaking, we have, okay, let's see. Okay, so this is a, a little, it's like a corner pocket or a corner tuck spot. And the whole idea is, maybe I should just do it so it's not too confusing. Um, okay, so technically speaking, if you print this, if you print these on cardstock, you don't need this extra piece right here. This little tab you can cut right off. But um, if you print on regular paper or if it's like lighter weight paper, it's not, you know, that thick, you might want to just use this flap to fold it over and um, and just glue it to itself right here. So you just go like this and put some glue in here on the inside and glue this down and that way it gives you, it gives your little pocket a little bit of stability so that when you, you know, tuck things in, it's not as thin as just regular paper, it's just doubled right there. And then these tabs right here obviously are what you use to, um, to, to glue your, your pocket down. So I'm sure everybody knows that part. But yeah, I didn't want the, this piece to be confusing. So you can cut it off if you want to, or you can glue it down depending on, you know, what paper you print on. So. This is a mini journal, so I should have grabbed a smaller tuck. But that's okay, that would work right here. See that? And then you can just, let's see, tuck something in here like that. See, these work as journaling cards too. The back of these guys, let me show you. So these, these could also be journaling cards. That's like a nice size. And look how nice it fits in there. So, you know, just because they're made for a certain purpose, you can always um, kind of reinvent them. Okay, so these are the corner tucks. And then again, little, little tiny labels. Let's see, I don't want it. I've got the little labels on there. Okay. So this kit were the tuck spots and the tags, okay? And then this one here is with the envelopes. And so I love to make regular envelopes because I like them for Happy Mail. I think they're so pretty to have in different colors. And I love that I collage that one. I think it's so great. And so then the back, it's always nice to print another layout on the back so that when you fold it you see like that double image. I really love that. I love to print on the back also. So these are just the regular classic envelopes and I love to have these. I always try to make some for each kit. Okay so this is my other ephemera kit and it has just a bunch of different pieces. It has 
let's see, it has envelopes, it has tickets, collage sheet papers, and also, um, let's see, journaling cards and like postcards, that type of deal. Okay, so I always love to make envelopes. Like this is a classic envelope. Um, and basically you just cut, fold, and paste. And I love to make them with each kit because I love to include ephemera and I can tuck everything in and use these envelopes in my journals. Now, even if I don't use them in my journals, which actually I always do, I always love to have these um, designs in case I want to make my own greedy cards. So I love like, okay, so from this kit, you can use that, that. You can use almost anything in here actually for a, um, like how pretty would that be for a greeting card? So um, that's kind of something to keep in mind. Um, okay, so let's move on. So I have one, two, three, and four classic envelopes. And then I have the coin envelopes, which I just love coin envelopes. I think they're so cool. Okay, so I have four coin envelopes, and I just love coin envelopes. Um, I love to use them in my journals. Look how pretty is that. And then this one. I hope it's focusing. Sometimes if I move too fast, it doesn't focus as quickly. Okay, and then I have this. This is like a postcard but I love to use these as um, flips or you can, um, you can use them to, as like to decoupage on pages or you can use them for collaging. So I love, I made them really big so they could be used um, in different ways like that. And then I have this one too. How pretty are those art prints? Okay, and then I have five different um, printables with just journaling cards. And I think these are so cool. I love to use these also. I love to use them as flip, kind of like a flip out on the page. Or for journaling, I'm a big journaler. I love to journal, so I love to use them like that also. Or for collaging, like I think these are really great for collaging also. And these, they all are, so. <laughs> so I kind of just went with, um, when I create, I kind of create what I know I want to use, so that's kind of how I work. And I also love having options, so I think these are also great for a card. These are perfect to make cards with, you know, you just, you know, can layer one of these on top of it. Just cut it a little bit smaller or cut it all out and layer it, and I think, I think that's such a great idea. So those are the journaling cards, and then I love to make these. I love to make these little tickets. I think they're so much fun to use. And then with the tickets, I also included um, little like sentiments. I used to write poetry. So this to me is almost like poetry. And so um, I have those. And how cute are these? I just love all these little, okay, this, so I printed one on just regular paper and then one on cardstock, and it's good to keep in mind that um, they'll print a little bit better on cardstock, and then if you have like a shinier paper, they'll print better on a shinier paper, but I think that they still look really good. I mean, when I, I usually do test prints when I work on my images, to make sure that um, the colors look good to me. And so um, I always print them and I do love, I mean, obviously it's not as vibrant as, you know, they're not as vibrant as if I were to print on, you know, the higher quality paper, but I still think they look really good. And that's like saying a lot for reds because reds don't always print that great. Um, so what I did was I actually went in and I really worked with the colors so that they look good. 
Okay, and now these, I think they're so cute. They're little collage squares. So now, I think, um, I think these are great to use. I mean, you can be really creative and use them in collages or in however you want, but what I love to do is to use them with this. I mean, I think it's such a cute element. You just go like that. And then you have this little scalloped edge. And then you can just um, punch a hole in it and just attach it to a tag, attach it to a journal. I mean, these are so cute. I, I am a little bit obsessed with them. I think they look so cute. So if you have this type of punch, um, I think this makes a great... Um, like element, you can actually glue them to each other, and you can um, again, you can attach. You do a little. I've done this with. So basically, you can glue them to each other, punch a hole in there, tie a little bow, and you can attach it to your journal. And I think they're so cute. So that's kind of my idea for these. Um, but you can also use them um, as a collage. You just got all these little little squares. You can also punch holes in these and just use them like to have them dangle from a tag. Um, I use these in my journals so if you guys want to go back and look at some of my um, my videos I think I used them in the strawberry collection and I may have used them also in a journal before that. I'm not sure but I, I kind of this is kind of new for me. I started doing this maybe two months ago. So um, or two months from when I post this um, this video. So this is my second part of the ephemera kit. Okay, so this one is the envelopes, the note cards, the tickets, and the collage squares. Okay, and so that's that. Let's see. Okay, so now the next part I want to share is... These are my Polaroids, and I think these are super fun. I'm going to start with these ones. So these really work well as a journal prompt. Like, you know, this is my story, the best days. And what else? Um, you can also actually cut these out. Let's see if I have blank ones in here. I did include, yeah, so I have blank ones too. So basically, you can print these. I recommend printing these on cardstock. They just look way better on cardstock. But you can also print on this just regular paper and then glue them to cardstock or to something um, that's a little bit thicker. So that works also. And if you do that, it's kind of nice because you also have like the edge that you can curl up or, you know, kind of distress. So this is one of them. Let's see. Okay, so these... So you get these ones, but then you get these ones also. So these are good for, um, my thinking was, let's say I want to journal my own, like I want to do my own verse. Maybe use a typewriter, type up your own verse in there, or maybe um, just handwrite some journaling. So that's why I made these blank like this. You can also cut them out, and it's not that difficult. I actually did that with some little mini ones. I'll show you in just a minute. I just made an X with an X-Acto knife, and then I went in with just these scissors, and um, they're not even fussy cutting scissors, and it wasn't that difficult. Um, I don't know why. I thought that the little ones would be kind of more difficult to um, work with, but they were fairly simple. Um, so that's kind of like how I would use them. You can also frame photos in these. Yeah, so basically you can cut this out and put a photo underneath. Or you could just cut a photo to the size and glue it on top. Or you can collage on here. You can put like, a, like an image from a magazine. So there's so many ways you can use these. I love these. I think they're great. Okay, so then I made minis because if you know me, I love, love, love my minis. I love my mini journals, and I mean, I think they're so cute. I think that digitals in mini size are so cute. I mean, look at that tag. 
So basically this kit right here that's like full size, I made mini size and there was space left over so I added these little mini tags too. And I think they're so cute. They could even be cut out and like embellish one of these Polaroids. I think that would be a great idea. And so I have them like this too. And I absolutely love this. I love this size. I am a little bit obsessed with this size. I think they're so cute. And I'm going to show you guys how I used it. I actually have a video with this. And how cute is that? So basically what I did was I cut out the Polaroid. I used some of this double-sided tape. And I was able to tape down the transparency with the double-sided tape. And then I have like a, this little image of these two kids that goes in here. But how cute is this? I want to do this with a picture of my husband and I. I think that would be so cute. I want to do a little photo of me and my husband maybe now and then maybe me and my husband when um, we were young or something. Something like this. I think it's really cute. And then um, if you check my shop, I also have these little tabs. I have these um, little tabs in there, and that's what I use. So cute. I, I just love them. Okay, so that's how I use them. Okay, so I absolutely love these. And if you guys did pick some up, try it and let me know. I would love to see how you use them. Okay, moving on. I feel like I've been talking a lot. Okay, so now these are verses. I just love them. I think they're so cool. And they're just like such great verses. And so, and I think like how great are these as reminders in our journals. And so I have these also like this. They're minis. And then the tiny little mini tags. So this is another kit with the verses. And then I'm gonna move on to my, my Polaroids and aesthetic photos. So now these, what I did was, um, again, I like to have a lot of options. So what I did was I included all the pictures like this. So that if you want to use these photos just as they are, you can just cut them out and use them like this. I think they're so pretty. I just, I absolutely love them. But, um, or you can even, so you can use them like this. And another thing, you can make cards out of these. I mean, I think they'd be so beautiful as cards. So that's kind of another thing I keep in mind. And these are printed just on regular cardstock. This is not special paper. And I still think they look really beautiful, but, but, if you print on the Epson paper, look how vibrant that is. That's like, that looks amazing. So I just wanted to show the difference because I love how vibrant that is, but I still think they look really good. I mean, if you don't see them side by side, they still look really good. Or try matte paper. So either, I gotta show you guys the packaging Okay, so here's the packaging, Epson high quality inkjet paper. So this is what I use for this. And now keep in mind that this is regular paper. It's not thick. I actually glued it down to some cardstock and then I backed it up. Okay, so that's how I did that here. But if you pick up the matte um, photo paper, you'll have that heavier weight like cardstock which is what i love i love printing these on cardstock it just um so look how pretty these are i hope i'm not going too fast so i'm i'm i just absolutely love these i think they're so beautiful and i love working with them and so um Okay, so that's, this is a bunch of the pictures, the aesthetic photos, but then I wanted to put them in Polaroids because Polaroids are fun. I love Polaroids. Okay, so I have my floral Polaroids here, and then how cool are these sentiments? 
I just love that. I have so many poems. I might end up sharing them on here, but I really want to publish my poetry before I actually um, um, share them, like, online. So, um... So these are, I want to show you the sentiments first because I think they're, I just love them. I actually can't wait to use them in my journals. Um, okay, so I have four of these, okay? So these are the flowers and the roses. I'm like, they're so pretty. And again, this is regular paper. This printed a little bit better because this is cardstock and this is cardstock. So if you go to matte paper, they're going to be even more vibrant. Okay. So these are just like regular pol Polaroids. So there's four of them. But then I wanted to kind of try this out. And I wanted to use the collaged Polaroids. And I think they're so fun. I just love them. And I hope you guys do too. Um, so look at those. I mean, I love the florals. I think they're so much fun. I'm hoping it focuses. That's why I'm not going so fast. I just love the rose print and the green. I just, I think they look so good. So anyways, that's kind of what I wanted to show you guys and kind of explain because some of these photos are the same. They're like three different sets. It turned out into a huge, huge kit, but you know what? I love having options. I want to be able to like cut everything out and then pick which ones I want to use in my journal. And then whatever's left over, I usually um, kind of put in a box like this. I put everything in a box like that. And when I do happy mail or when I make another journal, I can kind of go through there and pick different pieces because I like um, kind of to have a variety of things and to be able to pick. So this is the Rosie kit, and I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys watched till the end because now so I wanted to show you something new that came to my shop. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a while, and I finally got to it. So basically, this is a digital that I've had for in some of my fall kits. Um, and basically I edit all my images and this was um, like a mini photo that I have in one of my fall kits. And I decided to actually go in and make this available as a digital wall print. So basically what that means is you purchase the digital and then you have different sizes that you can print. And the reason this is important is because if you take a small digital and you enlarge it, you won't have a good quality. So what I did was I resized it and made sure that um, the quality of the image is for the size that you want printed. So this is going to come in a 5x7, an 8x10, an 8x12, and a 12x16. So you can actually print this at home or at a photo lab and you can have a beautiful wall print for your home, for home decor. And I, um, I'm gonna bring more of these to my shop. So if you're interested, um, come back and check. So I'm pretty excited about these um, and I will probably be adding some more to my shop because I absolutely love wall prints. So then I decided to offer this to, uh, to you guys so that you guys have this option. I've had a few requests, so um, that's, what I, that's what I've been up to. I'm going to be adding some of these wall prints. Now this is printed on um, cardstock, but you can, if you print it at home, I would recommend printing it on matte photo paper because that will give you a... Um, a really nice image like the colors will be a little bit more more vibrant so um, if you guys are excited about this let me know down below I'm going to hopefully bring some florals also to my shop just like this too so um, so yeah so this is one of the things and next I'm going to be showing you guys my um, my latest digital kit that I've been working on 
Okay, so I've been working on these all day and I'm super excited. Um, this is my beach theme or my sea dreams theme and um, I think they're so pretty. I've gotten a lot of um, requests for the larger tags, so I've been making the larger tags, but I also wanted to use up the bottom down here, and so I made the little minis because I love minis. I just love using the little minis in my mini journals or even as like an embellishment or like a little tuck spot. So this is what I've been working on. Um, actually, I've been working on this kit all week, and I have probably a series of summer, um, summer theme digitals coming soon, just so you guys know. Um, if you have like, you know, a summer theme journal you want to work on, just stay tuned because I'm going to have a bunch of really fun digitals coming. So, um, this is the first time I actually did this where I actually talked about my digitals, so, um, I'd appreciate it if you let me know in the comments below what you thought, if you liked it. I kind of hesitated. I feel like it's kind of weird to just sit here and talk about my inspiration and kind of show all my digitals. But then again, I think that it might be really helpful also to see um, all the pieces kind of live. So if you enjoyed this video, please let me know down below because uh, maybe I'll do introductions to my kits in the future also then. So you guys can kind of get an idea of my thought process maybe behind uh, the making of the digitals and um, so you can kind of see them as they are because I think it's easier to see on video. But anyways, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you'd like to see more or if you'd like to um, just support my channel, please hit subscribe and the bell button and I would really appreciate it because that really helps me out. Um, I'm still a pretty small channel so that will hopefully help me grow. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.